Hey there! In this video, I will show you how to set up memory recall on your A7C2, which is the 1, 2, and 3 dial at the top of your camera. If you are using the Sony A7 IV, the operation is the same. By the way, this is a more advanced video. If you are still not familiar with basic settings, please watch my previous tutorials before you continue on this one. Before we start, let's observe these styles. You can see SNQ, Movie, and Photo Mode. For each of them, you have three custom settings. So in total, you can save as many as nine memory recalls if you want. I will show you how I set my movie settings as an example. I want my dial one to be S log three low light setting. Dial to movie mode. Now the first thing you have to do is to decide your exposure type, whether you are using full manual mode or shutter priority, aperture priority, or program mode. Once you decide, you cannot change it back unless you set everything from the start. So I will choose manual mode. Next, for low light setting, I need to use picture profile 10 as log 3. And then I will set the shutter speed to 1 over 50 ISO 3200 because this is the base ISO for S log 3. Alright, now everything is done. I will go to menu, shooting, shooting mode, camera setting memory. On this page, you will see 1, 2, 3, M1, M2, M3, M4 at the top. I will choose number 1. Press OK. So now when you turn the dial to number 1, you will have this memory call. I will show you another example. This time I want to set dial number 2 as slow motion effect. So again, I am in movie mode. I'm using manual exposure and picture profile off. Frame rate 60 frames per second, which will give you 2.5 times slow motion. And the shutter speed should be set to 1 over 125. ISO is not important in this setting. So just choose a number that you use most often. Now again, go to menu, shooting, shooting mode, camera setting memory. This time I will save it to number two. Press OK. So this time when I dial to number two, you can see we have this slow motion setting. And if we dial back to number one, we will have the low light setting. These two are the most frequently used memory recalls on my Sony A7C2. And of course, you can adjust those settings according to your own preference. Just a reminder, on this page, you see number 1 to 3 and M1 to M4. The M1 to M4 are settings that will be saved on your memory card. I wouldn't suggest that because once you format your card, the settings will be erased. So remember to just stick to the 1, 2, and 3 on the left hand side. I hope you find this tip helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you are not familiar with the camera setups or S-Log3, I have other tutorials about that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.